Hi guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian and African boxing and of course of combat sports in general. And please, if you're new to the channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now. Guys, you know, um, Francis Ngannou knocked out Stipe Miocic in a second round, a brutal, brutal knockout. Now, we all know that um, during the preparation for this bout, um, Francis Ngano seeked for Kamaru Usman's help because he knows Usman is a phenomenal wrestler. And in the post-fight interview, he also said that he looked he look up to Usman and his right to him. He was, he got inspired by them, become a champion. And he wanted to be part of, you know, part of the Kings. Now we have three African champions, okay, in UFC for the first time ever. That's history right there. He's on the Soyan, the middleweight champion, Cameron Rosman, the weightweight champion, Francis Ngannou, the heavyweight champion. Bro, Isioma, tell me about the impact of Kamaru Osma on Francis Ogono's version. Well, I think that the first impact is that Kamaru is a champion and um, Francis was inspired by the fact that his friend is a champion, so he needed to be a champion uh, to make it a trinity for African. Uh, Yes, this is Israel Adesoya in the mix, but we're not talking about Israel Adesoya because it was Kamaru that went to corner him. Um, another impact is the voice of reasoning. You know what they say about experience? You cannot buy it. You cannot buy experience, and it's the best teacher. Um, Usman has had better experience than, than uh, Gano, even though they both started fighting in UFC too, at the same time on the same day, okay. But Usma has had better experiences because he's had more fights and he has had more rounds, and then he's a champion. There is a mentality that a champion brings to a fight that contenders do not have. You cannot go to the market and price it off the shelf. Uh, so, those were some of the things that were in the mix of drinks that. Usman gave to Ngano. All right. Uh, we also saw that Ngano's defense, uh, takedown defense, has improved tremendously. I want to believe that it is part of what Usman would have brought to bear uh, to, to Ngano. We saw that his job has also tremendously improved. Usman is a job master okay he's a job artist Ngano on the other hand is a power puncher uppercut uh, specialist and throws a lot of haymakers but i mean look at those sweet jobs that were coming from Ngano in this fight against tp and um, lastly i think that the wrestling aspect too uh, has come has come into play here. The only time I saw Ngano submitting anyone is outside punches. It's um, a, a very long time ago. I think that was in 2014, and it was by Arm Triangle. Okay, so there is a great deal of Kamaru Usman's influence on Francis Ngano tonight. And those were the things I have highlighted. The, the impact is there, and of course, it is reason why um, he gave credit to to Kamarusman in the post-fight interview. Joe Rogan actually specifically asked how much of influence and impact did Kamarusman. I mean, Joe Rogan is is uh, he knows the sports inside out. He has interviewed these guys over and over. And over. Uh, I'm sure that they were seeing the influence of Kamaru on Francis Ngannou. And 
let's give credit to Francis Ngano for knowing that there is a gap that needed to be filled, for not thinking that, oh, after all, I'm just mates with um, Kamar Usman, why should I be going to him? I mean, he was humble enough to want to learn and to want to receive. He learned, he received, he applied, and he's the champion that he is now. Bro, like, um, do you know what's so amazing? Do you know, so, do you know what is amazing? It's so amazing yeah. to see how Francis Ngano defended that takedown. Do you, he never yeah. did that in the first fight, bro. I was amazed by that. Like, this guy has been improving. Like, what do you make of that? What, 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 how did you feel? How, when, how did you feel when you saw that? I mean, I, I was just like, wow, this is another Ngano altogether. This guy has become a different kettle of, you know, of tea entirely. Uh, now, if you have seen a couple of Usman's fights, particularly um, when he fought the likes of Tyron Woodley, um, Kwe Maslida, you will see that those are Usman's takedown defenses also. Okay, so, I mean, I was just seeing Usman in the cage in a bigger body. The bigger body now being Francis Ngannou. Okay, I mean, those, those are amazing, amazing takedowns and defenses. Yes, but uh, definitely, bro, I can't lie to you. So, this, as you can see right here, this is Kamaru Usma and Francis Ogano, you know, hugging each other. You know, Ogano jumping like a baby. <laughs> bro, I like the chemistry, man. I like the brotherly, the brotherhood, you know what I mean? I like it, bro. Like, if Africans can unite like this, you know, it would be nice. All Africans can unite, it would be nice. Bro, let me let, let let's listen to what they're saying, bro. Well, great, great story. Great story, man. God bless Africa. God bless Nigeria. God bless Cameroon. God bless the world. God bless UFC as well for giving them this opportunity. It's not easy. See you, bless guys. Oh.